Are white men truly the downfall of America? Are we truly the worst scum alive? Find out. How about... How about zero results? And zero facts about how white men are scum? All hands. Battle stations. So now what we're going to do is look at an article about it. Alex Hawoka. Am I saying that right? A designer, programmer, and composer. A Night in the Woods has died now. I've never played the game. I know what it's about. How did you know what it's about if you never played the game? I heard people uh, play it. I heard about people playing it, okay? The announcement of Hawoka's death comes from his sister. Which I can't view because it's private in. Eileen Mary Haloka on Twitter. She herself. No. Alec Haloka, my brother and best friend, passed away this morning. Then the, when I click on it, it's private. So of all the harassment she's getting. There is a Twitter tweet that I cannot view that says... That is, people are proud of this. How can progressive Twitter be proud of this? Deleting their accounts? No. No, that's perfectly fine. But, uh, harassment? That's perfectly viable. What the fuck am I thinking? It's not viable. That's just pure harassment. Now. <laughs> Herself, his his brother, her brother, and his her best friend were both developers at a separate company and listed in the Night in the Woods credits as a special thanks. Announced his death mid Saturday, saying that he died that same morning. It's just not coincidence that uh, yes, mental disorders have been in there have been proven to pass this. Uh, amplify that with harassment. It's not going to give you something good. Believe me. I know. I did not I, I would not like to be in that situation that she was she was in that right she was in right now. But those who know me will believe that I believe survivors and I have always done. Everything I can to support survivors though suffering from mental illness. This wasn't mental illness. Chronic illnesses. I mean, some part of it was, but... People... Uh, I said this before. But you're just reiterating it. People who lead the charge are people who are against them. Anyways, sorry. <laughs> he was recently accused of sexual assault. Hmm... I wonder from who. <sighs> Just, uh, don't. Who stated that Haloka sexually abused them and confined them to his home in Winnipeg? She, his sister returned to Twitter shortly after her initial post of follow up with uh, an additional comment. And in case it's not already fucking obvious, yeah, I just said it. He specifically said he wished the best for her, the sexual harasser. So don't use our grief as an excuse to harass people. Go outside and take care of someone. I wrote towards something preventing these kinds of things in the first place. She wrote, his sister wrote. These sexual assault accusations were later followed by the company, the studio behind the game. Cutting ties with him. No evidence. No proof. That they ever did that. You can never believe words these days. Words are as good as a... As a text. Not, not a text. Words are as good as a... Or as good as your... Yes, I mean, they're both comfy, but... They provide no relevance here. Sorry, just dropped the whole thing. <laughs> I can't come up with a good example to, to compare those two. To. K 
cancel an upcoming project and also delay the physical edition of Nine in the Woods. Good. Not good on the part where he got sexually harassed. That's wrong. With no proof and fact that you know that he certainly did this. Can you prove it? Can you cough it up or shit it out? I don't think so. Because it never happened. It might have happened behind closed doors. We have no proof to tie that in, but... What this week's allegations of past abuse have come to light regarding him. Uh, I don't think I need to go any farther than this. Psych. It's only been five minutes. Who was coder, composer, and co-designer on the game for the official Night in the Woods Twitter account on August 28th? We take such allegations seriously as a team. Allegations are the same thing as writing words. They have no uh, context and uh, and they sequester behind words. Like, would you believe someone they got sexually harassed and just posted online? I don't think so, but I just don't want to. Believe that for a minute. No way a person would do that with regarding to mental illness. Sorry, I'm bringing that up a lot. Accusations against him were made in response to another developer's accusations. That, uh, people from the Elder Scrolls. Hold on, let me go check that article. Mm, let's see. He was accused by the game developer Zoe Quinn of sexual abuse and confining her at his home in Winnipeg, Canada. I mean, there are sick people in the world. Trust me. But uh, I don't think he was this mentally scarred. Hold on, let's actually check to see if you can actually view the Twitter on this. Sorry, it don't exist. That's a shame. Just because she got her ass handed to her. Indeed. So we are all unaware of the events described last night. Quinn, oh sorry, Quinn wrote a series of messages posted on Twitter. Following the accusation on Twitter, Night in the Woods developer Scott Benson tweeted, Let's see if that one's uh, gone as well. It's gone! So, uh, it might take a day or so of a more complete response because, because some things need to be worked out. Like what? False accusations? What steps are being taken? Her tweets were written in response to another sexual assault accusation. She just can't stop being spreading those legs, eh? She's like an indisposable tool. She's like a pair of, uh... She's like a really bad pair of... No, I can't make it that one, one either. <laughs> The Elder Scrolls composer Jeremy Soul of raping her. Ooh, let's just see what that one's about. Calling out. Security risk ahead. I ain't risking that. A third accusation. Damn, dude. Again. Sorry. That page don't exist. Oh, it does exist. <coughs> Jane has reached out to his sister for further details regarding her brother's death, but she made a specific mention in her original tweet that she intended to stay from the internet for the immediate future, as well as saying that she currently does currently 
does not see a place for herself in games or on game. That's the one percent. Come on. I mean, my. I hate to share this, but my grandmother died two years ago. But I understand where she's coming. My grandmother died. Died two years ago. I didn't shed a tear. Call me heartless. <laughs> but I needed to stay strong for uh, my family. That's why I uh, didn't cry. So. And I believe emotions are useless. Anyways, continue. I went off topic. Night in the Woods is a 2017 indie game about four friends who reunite in their boring hometown that's been hit by an economic downturn. And the game was a critical success. IGN nominated it for the best story of 2017. Really? Really, IGN? Is that really the only thing you can do is nominate it for the best story of 2017? Uh, I don't know, man. There's a lot to digest. Uh, well, first of all, I want to start off by saying, look how many mainstream media articles there are. One. Some Twitter tweets. They even made a meme out of it. How kind of fucked up is that? Hmm. So we are going to discuss one of these fabulous, rep fabulous reporting jobs. Now, Zoe Quetta has been a avid player and a person of interest in this case. So, yeah. 